Hello, and welcome to my video review of the Gamo Big Cat. Now, this pellet gun is actually a really nice pellet gun. It's chambered in the .77 caliber pellet. It is, and it was purchased for the use of um, just having some real nice fun, some trigger time, where I'm not going out to the range and spending a lot of ammo on uh, just target shooting. It was um, something I can shoot in the backyard and still have fun. So the rifle here that is shown is mine yeah, I customized it a little bit I painted the synthetic stock on it with a uh, urban camo paint job and I also um, added some material in the back of the butt stock to cut down on vibrations on the actual rifle it's hollow in the butt so you do get a lot of vibrations because of the powerful spring that's in the weapon so to cut down those vibrations I added some material in the butt stock to cut down on the vibration and actually improve on the accuracy a little bit uh, you get a really nice gun here. It's like I said, it's synthetic stock. You get a, a scope with it here. Uh, they give you the scope, the mounts. You get some covers for the scope. Um, it's actually a really nice scope too. You have like a, a 9x magnification on the scope itself. It's made by Gamo. Like I said, it's really nice. You actually have to use it because you don't have any open sights on the weapon, so you have to use a scope at all times. It takes a few seconds to zero, but it's all right. The uh, the crosshairs on the scope are actually just your standardized uh, crosshairs. There's no mill dots and all that. So when you're shooting long ranges and stuff, you actually have to zero it each time for the different distances that you're going to fire at. I keep mine zeroed at like 25 yards because it's in my backyard. Uh, you actually have, um, you can actually reach targets up to a, a 100 yards on it. I have actually reached, n hit notebook size targets at 100 yards with this rifle. Uh, you see here that the little thing in the front of the trigger, that's actually the safety. To engage it, you push it forward to fire and back to safe. Um, the trigger itself is a stamped piece of metal, so it's not really the best, but there's actually a little trigger job you can do for it. For my purposes, I, it's, it's stock is fine. Like I said, the, uh, the overall axis of the gun is really nice. The barrel has this little fluted look here, as you see in this picture. Um, it's actually a hard, hard set plastic it's really nice and it cuts down on the weight of the gun but the barrel in the interior is actually metal barrel and it's actually rifled so you have the rifling through the barrel and stuff too so it actually works really nice I, I like it a lot and it gives it a little neat look with the weapon um, overall length of the gun is actually really well this is a compared to a Marlin uh, Marlin 22 caliber rifle on top and a bolt action on the bottom and it, it measures in the middle of both so it's actually a really nice rifle for adults um, here I have it taken out in my backyard and I'm shooting some targets I, I shoot metal cans with the pellet gun because uh, soda pop cans actually cuts through them too easy and tears them up really fast the metal cans tend to last a little bit longer um, I'm shooting from a standing position and there's no I'm not leaning against anything at all so my accuracy isn't that great <laughs> if I was if I had it mounted to like a table stand or something like that it would be pretty much dead on all the time but uh, as far as shooting right now it's just standing and stuff you see that there's a, a brick on top of the can that's to hold the can because if it didn't have that it would fall down each time and I have to go put it back up each time also there's a brick behind it one of those little um, stepping stone bricks that's to prevent pellets from cutting through the pickets and engaging targets on the other side of the fence which I don't want so it's something to think about because this will actually shoot through pickets if you're not careful um, like I said the accuracy on the gun's pretty good those were the targets that I hit uh, the, the shots that I fired and stuff it tore the can pretty much a big old gouge in the front and you have the, the exit holes out the back um, it cuts through cans pretty easily it cuts through most things pretty easily actually like I said it's a it's a really good, uh, really good weapon. Um, it's almost like a small caliber 22 rifle, and without the cost of the the 22. So um, I know 22s are actually really cheap and easy to shoot, but I mean when you're shooting in inside city limits <laughs> and you're in your own backyard, you want something that's a little quieter. So these are the pellets after I fired them. You can see how they mangle. This is right here is a, a actual pellet that hasn't been fired and you can see the what they look like after they've been fired they, they get pretty mangled um, yeah tears through the cans awesome so 
these are different palettes that I have used with the weapon. Currently, uh, I've shot these, just these brands. These are Gamo, actual Gamo palettes, and they worked pretty good. They were pretty decent. These premieres are right now are the ones that I'm using right now, and they're actually the best. These other Crossmen were, were okay, but they're not really as accurate as the premieres. And as for these last ones, these daisies, I would tend to stay away from these. They're a little bit smaller palette, and they were having trouble engaging, engaging the rifling on the barrel, so the accuracy dropped a lot when I was using them. Um, like I said, overall, the Gamma rifle is really, really nice. If you're looking for a cheap way to have some fun, keep in practice, go with the Gamma. Um, like I said, there are a lot higher end rifles out there, but truthfully, um, in all actuality, I'm not going to spend over $300 on an air rifle. So the Gamma falls under that price range, and it's actually a great gun and hours and hours of enjoyment. And people should look out for it. It's, um, it's enjoyable to shoot. Please keep a lookout for more reviews to come, and thank you for your time.